It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 6th of December. I'm James Spann. Rain moves out later today. The big story, the coldest air so far this season blowing in here by Thursday and Friday. Let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper look at 500 millibars early this morning. Nice troughing digging down through Texas, producing the unsettled weather overnight. That was the radar this morning at 515. Heavier showers in the eastern side of the state. A little elevated thunder there, but no surface-based storms. No severe weather for our end of the state overnight. And lingering showers over West Alabama. All of this will be winding down by mid-morning, but the clouds will linger throughout the day. On our end of the state, the air is cool and stable with 50s, but if you work your way down to the south, Dothan is in the warm sector. They've got 71 early this morning, but everybody turns cold later this week, and you can see what's coming our way. Temperatures around zero this morning over parts of Montana, Wyoming, even colder in western Canada, and that frigid air will be working its way southward. Severe weather a possibility today for parts of North Florida, South Georgia. Standard slight risk includes the city of Jacksonville. This is the rain for the next seven days, and not as much as we've seen in recent days, but still we're going to see some, obviously some lingering showers this morning. The Arctic front on Thursday will bring some relatively light rain. And then as the weekend wraps up, we'll have another opportunity of rain, or maybe early next week, as you'll see. But let's take a look. The 06E GFS, valid at noon today. You see that vortex setting up over the northern states. At the surface, a low is near Cincinnati. And again, lingering showers this morning should be over by midday. Clouds will linger, and the high today will be in the middle 60s. Tomorrow should be a cool, dry day. A lot of clouds around. The sun might peak out at times, but I'd say it's going to be a day with more clouds than sun, and the high will be in the middle 50s. Thursday, here comes the Arctic front. The winds pick up. We'll see strong north winds of 15 to 25, gusting to 30, going to make it feel colder. The high will be only in the low, maybe mid-40s, with a 1,047 millibar high up over Montana and North Dakota. Now, the question is, will it rain with the front Thursday morning? And it might. This is the high-res NAM, valid at 9 o'clock Thursday, showing a band of just scattered light rain showers. Moisture is going to be limited. Uh, rain amount should be fairly light. And all these, you know, snow rumors and all that, that look, no, there's no snow. There's no ice with this cold air. There could be a few uh, snowflakes mixed in over Tennessee, but not down here. Friday, Friday morning, we go down in the low 20s. Uh, the high will be only in the upper 30s with that uh, 1037 high near Memphis. Uh, very cold day. Our friends up in the Tennessee Valley will struggle to climb above the freezing mark. These are the actual... Expected temperatures Friday at midday. And some of our friends up in Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana could be below zero at midday Friday. It's pretty cold for early December. Saturday, Saturday morning, I'd say lows between 17 and 22 for most spots. Uh, the day will be bright and sunny. The high will be in the upper 40s. Now, Sunday, here comes the next wave, and you can see a surface load near Chicago with snow around the Great Lakes and a trailing band of showers. This is Sunday night at midnight, and the GFS shows rain moving in here. Maybe a rain changing to snow over Tennessee, not down here. And then at midday Monday, the GFS brings in drier air. So if the GFS is correct, the weekend would be ending wet with a chance of rain late Sunday and Sunday night, but the European says not so fast. Uh, it delays the rain until Monday. So a little model madness. The idea is the same, just the timing is in question. But there could be some rain uh, Sunday night or maybe Monday. And again, this would uh, drop about a half inch of rain if this verifies. We'll go to a week from today. This is Tuesday, December 13th. Still a very cold vortex over Canada. And if that's right, the weather here will be cool and dry with 50s and 30s. And again, that's but pretty much where we should be for this time of the year. This is the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, the 15th. And again, that's a very cold look for the northern part of the continent and a cold front kind of slipping down and through here with a chance of maybe some light rain and very cold air to the north. 
Numbers, you can see the big spike down Friday with highs in the upper 30s, lows well down in the 20s. And again, the colder pocket should see teens on Saturday morning. And after that, temperatures, generally speaking, a little below average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.